Kiki are working along with him. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday night. Hornets and the Heat getting together. Heat a much different team without LeBron. They don't have to defer as much. Guys like Wade and particularly Bosch can let their talent shine through again. Luol Deng added to that mix as well. Wade. Marvin Williams picks up the rebound. Here comes Lance. Stevenson has taken a while to adapt himself to his teammates. The injury in preseason did not help. Here's Big Al. Finds Henderson, and Henderson scores! on the defensive end for the Miami Heat, and Big Al, looks like he had eyes in the back of his head, finds Hendo for an easy two. Well, you know, Eric Spolster is very cognizant in his pre-game press conference of where Al Jefferson is going to be all night. Al took advantage of that. Here's Norris Cole all the way in. Bosch defended there by Kemba, who gets the steal. Miami gets back. Here's Al on the right side. He's done a pretty good job on the right side of the block in this early part of the season. Nice pass from Lance. Bosch with the finish. Al with the bump just enough to shoot that shot short as, as momentum was taking him to the baseline. Sean Williams out of Memphis. Eight years, been a journeyman in the league. Looks like he's finding his way with Miami. He shoots the ball very well, leads this team in three-point field goals made. Here comes Lance down the lane. Almost failed his own shot. Ball lost out of bounds by Miami. Let's take a look at our keys, our Ford keys to the game. Yeah. Defensive rebounding, you've got to go up and limit this Heat team to one shot. They average 16 second chance points a game. They had 21 last night. And then the, the Hornets have to make their open shots. The Heat are going to score over 100 a game, and the Hornets are going to have to make open shots when they get them. 